Oh boy. Hello everybody out there. It's me and Nicole Fouché finally back back on track to our weekly podcast. Whew, what a workout before we got on there today. <laughs> Holy moly. I shouldn't have had all those that caffeine today because damn. Thankfully, I got to the beach this morning and took a little walk. That's why I'm all beach haired out. Good. Well, thank you for having me. It's always good to see you. But you can hear me and stuff right now. Yay. Yay. I'm hungry and I can see you. Yay. Everybody out there. Um, today, we're going to talk about, I mean, there's so many exciting things, Nicole. God, I feel like I haven't talked to you forever. Um, I do. So today we're going to talk about tools and tips of back to school through this epidemic and these times, these hard times that we're going through. And your boys are getting ready to go back to school. How exciting. Um, there's a lot of people that have anxiety about the mask thing and the COVID thing still. It's been and a then- big challenge for a lot of people. Um, I've just seen in in my healing practice, the number of parents that are coming in with stress and anxiety, but also a growing number of children that have their own anxiety anyway, added to the stress and anxiety of the parents about whether they're sending their kids back to school or not. And it just seems to be uh, a changing thing. Uh, Are they going back or they're not going back or they're wearing masks or they're not wearing masks? And uh, even before Corona, stress and anxiety were at an all-time high, and uh, Corona's just added another whole component to it. And uh, you know, we're not just, as I said, look at who's coming in for help with anxiety and stress. I just thought, you know, we actually need to start addressing this and helping more people, not just those local to Tampa, but all over the world. Parents are dealing with the same thing. You know, how are we going to navigate getting through school? It's a huge thing right now, and it's it's weird how fast the summer went by. Poor kids, they didn't get their proms, they didn't get their uh, graduations, they didn't get their summer. And we're like three weeks away, and now suddenly the reality of thinking of getting your kids back to school, coming out of this like cocoon from being isolated from everybody for months, uh, is starting to take its toll on children. Yes. Um, well, I know we're talking about that today and we're going to be, this is going to be our regular time, 1230 every day. We got a little late start today because we had some sound issues. We are going, I want to do an angel because you do the most beautiful angel workshops. And recently I've connected with my guardian angel. I don't want to divert right now. Let's get back to school tips and tools and getting our kids ready and helping them with anxiety. So where do we start? When we look at stress and anxiety, stress and anxiety is an energy. And every doctor will tell you stress and anxiety can start to have a physical impact on the body. So to start managing stress and anxiety, you need energetic tools to actually clear that out of your system. So in pranic healing, which is a form of energy healing that involves no touch, We've got specific tools and techniques that we use to actually remove stress and anxiety thought forms from the system. So that's what people will experience if they come to have a one-on-one session with me. What I'm offering is some of the top tools and tips that I work with with my own children, but also for people that are coming to see me just to start energetically preparing our children for school. So looking at different breathing techniques, looking at visualization, looking at meditation, uh, specific exercises to actually boost uh, brain function and concentration because our children have not had to sit at a desk for eight hours a day since March. And, you know, that's a whole thing just in itself that they've got to kind of prepare themselves for. So over that week, I just want to share some stuff that literally parents can implement within five minutes a day to actually start coping with their own stress, but also energetically clearing the stress that's sitting there with their children. The other thing that's important is your child might actually be feeling fine, but they get back to school and everybody else is stressed out and your kids can actually be picking up a lot of that stress from the teachers, 
from the other kids in class. And that's another thing that we've got to deal with. So I'm going to share a little bit of that as well, how to actually shield your children from the external stresses. If they're feeling okay now, they may not potentially be feeling okay in a few weeks. And these are tools that parents can very quickly implement um, to clear that up. So you're doing, so this is a week long kind of course, right? Before so what, that, yeah. So what I've done is I've set up a Facebook group specifically dedicated to this called Start School Strong. And the strong part is being mentally strong, being emotionally strong, ready for school. Um, every day starting on July 27th, I will be posting a different video with different tools that parents can implement that day and through the rest of the week. So every day I'll share something new, Monday through Friday, that will start getting the kids into a routine to practice before they start school. So they'll have a week or two of practice before they actually start school to kind of really get on top of it. So with this video, this podcast that we're doing, will, you will put that link to that Facebook to join and people can join that to watch all the tips for yep. the week. So I've made it a, I've made it a public uh, group. And the group is called Start School Strong. So if people just get onto Facebook and search for Start School Strong, they can literally click in and gain access to the group with everything. So the nice thing is if people aren't available like that week or they can't get on when the videos are on, I'm going to keep them up for the entire week. So people basically have the entire week to go and look at all the videos, practice them. Uh, I've made it as easy for everybody. So there's no time constraints or time zone constraints. Um, I've opened it up to everybody all over the world because I think parents all over <laughs> yeah. are having the same issues. Even and these tips can even help college students or absolutely, you know, having having a, a good foundation of energetic principles just to de stress. You know, even when you just look at something like breathing, you know, when people are uh, super, super, super stressed, the breathing is actually affected. So, actually, just getting back down to the real basics and actually teaching your children how to really stress energy through breathing. That's a lifelong skill that all of us could use, not just yeah. the kids, you know, the parents as well. Yeah. And especially when children learn these breathing techniques at an early age, it helps so much. I remember when my boys were younger and I did teach them to meditate and they, they did a little bit at a time and then breathing, how I would teach them, is I would say, okay, take a deep breath in and then let's imagine that we're blowing a bubble gum and we're blowing the biggest bubble and we don't want it to pop. And I would play along with them and I would say, okay, your bubble's getting really big. Keep blow, keep breathing, go slow. It's not gonna pop, it's not gonna pop. And they loved it and they would practice that on their own. And I would say, mm -hmm. let's blow bubbles, let's blow bubbles. And then let's blow a bubble inside the bubble and not let it pop. And it really helped them. With it's so slower. good. It's so good. So I'll be sharing tips and tools like that that are very simple. They can be done at any time. I've got a nice range of different um, things for people to try, the parents and the children alike. And uh, it's just such a necessary thing. You know, one thing Corona's taught us, get back to basics, keep things simple, go back to what you know, good breathing, good exercise, good mental work, emotionally being calm and stable. Uh, it's just so important. So I encourage you to jump onto Facebook, find the group Start School Strong, and uh, I look forward to sharing all of this information with you starting July 27th. And... Uh, yeah, let's get our kids back to school healthy and happy. Is this a free thing? Yes, absolutely. To join the group. Yes. Okay, yeah. I love it. And and let's share that link here anyway too. I'll you know I'll go to that Facebook page. I'm I want to make sure that I'm a part of that group too. I love that. I mean, awesome. I know it's just another way of in the community. And obviously, you know, children are an important factor of our lives and. You know, if our kids are starting school stressed out, you know, it's just, it's not a good way to start. So uh, let's get them back happy and healthy. Yeah, they yeah. are strong. They okay. are our future. The children Absolutely. are our future. Oh, today, this morning, I was at the beach. I took a beach walk and I told you I've been connecting with my angels. And this little one and a half year old 
she kind of knows me. I see her and her mom out there when I go out for sunset sometimes, and she would not let me go. And well, that's she, the energy he was to be working with, you know, that positive energy, you know, the children yeah. feel it. And likewise, they feel the stress energy from the parents and from TV and, you know, all the stuff, you know, and that's the stuff we're wanting to clear out of their systems. Yeah, but it was so sweet because she would not, she did not, her nanny said it's time to go, like they had to go and she was so angry. She wanted to stay with me and I feel like she could see my angels and be with, you oh. know, and definitely feel my energy. That's she, awesome. Took, she would not let go of me. She was squeezing me with her legs and arms. It was so cute. Anyway. Well, um, I'm going to say goodbye now and I look forward to connecting with you again soon but uh, definitely on our Facebook group and uh, let's get the word out, get our kids back to school. Yeah, it's strong. All right. right. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Next week, week, this time, 1230, next Wednesday, every Wednesday. Perfect. Thank you. Love you. you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.